Yeah, I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? I can't hear you. You talking too low. Office of investigations, can you hear me? Um, you kind of talking real low. Can you talk a little louder for me? Can you hear me now? A little bit. Can you tell me about what I need to know about uh filing a complaint against uh police officers? You will call that um officers employing agency on an emergency line and access to the internal affairs unit and I would like to file a formal complaint. I already went to that level, so now I need to go a step higher because I need to make a complaint on the Internal Affairs Office as well as the state attorney for corruption, assault, battery, things like that. I'm a victim. If you have a complaint against the Internal Affairs Unit, then you will work your way up their chain of command by speaking to um, either the... I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You whispering so low. Could you talk louder? If you have a complaint against the internal affairs unit, you will file a complaint with that um, chain of command. So by speaking to the sheriff or police chief. Uh, Miami don't have a sheriff, and I'm making a complaint on the on the higher ups. So I'm so already. It's the Miami, it's the Miami Dade Police Department. Yeah. So the uh, chief of police of that area. Yeah, I'm making George, I'm making so, a complaint on George, the chief of police. I'm making a complaint on the the state attorney, Catherine Fernandez Rondio, is the head of prosecutor, and I'm making a complaint against all of them for criminal com, um. This recording for, for, to show y'all how corruption, corruption the system is. Corruption it's and easy Rico. to put a black man in jail, but it's so hard to put. They're the not system taking my complaint, so I have to go above law. their head. It's, it's kind of useless Who for can you to tell me to go back to them. The Nobody. Who um, can you call so when you have a complaint against the, the chief of police? Nobody. I got a complaint against all of them, yeah. The system the is chief of police, the, the head prosecutor, it does not the chief judge. The Constitution is So I need FDLE to get in there to assist me and um, investigate these people for corruption. This Have you new. called our Miami uh, Regional Operations Center? You talking so low, I don't know why you whispering over the phone. She trying to whisper to keep I'm, me I'm from not, recording. I'm not sure what's going on with your phone. Claudia, you, can you put somebody else on the phone with, with some deeper yeah. voice? Because you whispering over the phone and it's kind of frustrating. Unfortunately not. Um, did you call our Miami Regional Operations Center? What you mean did I call Miami Regional Operations Center? What is that? <laughs> We have a region throughout the state of Florida. Um, it's still part of FDLE. If there's anything that we get involved with, it most likely would be our Miami Regional Operations Center. Uh, no, I never heard of this department. What do they deal with? Um, it's still part of FDLE, so we um, provide investigative support um, when requested either by a sheriff or a police chief or a state attorney. So if, if there's anything that we would you get said, hold on, you whispering so goddamn low, girl. I can't hear a word out your mouth. Did you try to turn the phone up? Can if, you, I, if I go any louder, I might just yell. I don't want to yell. <laughs> now, you said the Miami, the Miami Department, they deal with what? It's still part of FDLE. So you're calling FDLE headquarters. This is here in Tallahassee. If we were ever to get involved into local law enforcement matters, it would be our Miami Regional Operations Center. It's still part of FDLE. We just have a different regions throughout the state of Florida. Now y'all about to bear with me. And what's their number? Even FDLE ain't shit. It will be they work it. 305. They run by gangsters. 470. Not the Constitution. Five five zero zero. That means if a monster, a racist ass white devil, or black. So devil, this department, I call the them and I can leave my complaint and get, and get in touch crime with the you investigator commit. to have uh, the police you investigate. Catch it on her. video footage. You can ask them and express the same things you're telling me. Um, the and FDLE they'll FBI determine if they want to investigate. Yeah, but sometimes a crook and they will fight who answer the phone. To get the evidence they may know the rules, but they'll lie to me because.
because they know I don't know it. That's why I'm asking you to tell me before I call them. You know, government corruption run deep right now. And they be waiting to lie to you because uh, I'm trying to take down some of the most powerful officials they know. So they gonna lie. I don't. I don't think they're gonna lie. They're still part of FDLE. So. Yeah, but you don't think because you don't know these devils. You work for them. You love them. You respect them. I know they crooks. I know they crooks. Okay. Well, you may wish to, to express your concerns to them, and if they determine that they're gonna investigate, they'll let you know. I'm asking you. Well, I know they'll let me know. They're going to let me know anyway. They're going to tell me no. Because they, you know. But the thing is, with y'all policies, do y'all allow a citizen to open up a complaint with your, with the FDLE or only like a government? It usually, we're usually requested by a sheriff, a police chief, or a state attorney to open up a complaint. Okay. Yeah, we usually do that. Yeah, we usually do that. Yeah, yeah, usually. But I'm saying as far as, is it anything that says only... These officials can contact the FDLE, or is it? Do they allow citizens to um, launch an investigation as well? A private citizen like myself. I mean, depending on the allegations. So if it's something like you know human trafficking, we do major drug crimes. You know, investigations. Do we get tips like that? It may be followed up on, but it depends on the nature of the claim. You know, any evidence that's provided by the complainant. So it, it all depends. It's something that y'all have to review. Well, the thing is, I I, I say FDLE investigate correctional officers when they have beat up some guys in the county jail and things like that. i seen them on the news where they did things like that, but I want to know. That's if, part of FDLE um, duties. We do investigate inmate death. Um, if we get a request from DOC, Office of Inspector General, then that is something we would investigate, but... Like I said, it, it depends on the nature of the complaint. If she get a request from so another you agency. You say, um, yeah, now, nah, I know my complaints deal okay. with rape. If she get a request um, from DOJ. Rico, conspiracy, Not murder, batteries, uh, perjury, obstruction of justice, thing, great, the great crimes against the government. LA great crimes. Involved in the investigation. But the thing is, they've been the avoiding speaking to me because they say I'm a private citizen and they don't want to Accept a complaint from me that only a government official can contact them. Okay, well, you can um, call our Miami Regional Operations Center. Like I said, if we were ever get involved, it'll be within that region, in that area, that this falls within Miami State. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer. Little bitch gave me a wrong number. Take an investigation, so can I help you? Yeah, um, can you tell me what's the number to the, the Miami Division for FDLE? Um, sure. Uh, one second. Jimmy 305. Four seven zero. <clears throat> I'm five, really chasing five, the government zero, down zero. in Miami, man. I'm really at their throats. I'm really trying five, five, to eliminate zero, zero. these devils. Yeah. Right, they thanks. really got to go. You're welcome. Have a good day. I got dirt on them. I got felony offenses on them. Hey, the on them. Yeah, this is the Miami Division of Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Yes. All right, I'm calling. I want you to tell me what I need to know about filing a complaint against uh, officials. What county are you in? Miami Dade. Okay, I'm going to transfer you to our duty agent. Please stay online. The number will be available to assist you in the night. Young Thug is. They running from me. Yeah, hello. How you doing? I'm trying to put them same charges yeah. on them that they putting on me. Yeah, um, I want to know what I need to know about what I need to know to file a complaint against some uh, crooked officials in Miami Dade County. They charge R. Kelly, but yet they commit the same complaint. crime. Can you tell I me your name first? Them, they run. Well, let me get your name first. 
What's the game you playing? Your first name is ADA. Don't worry about CIA. my name. What's your name? Protection of the law. Uh, Catherine Fernandez Rundle's state attorney's office. Her, her chief. Right to equal name. protection of the Thomas, law. Anybody uh, violate that right? A that guy named Tamayo. I think Other head named Irvin Ford. So we're and, um, reporting these crimes to these. I want to report Kathy Rundle Kathy as well. Was, Catherine. Ford. Well, I haven't met her yet. So I will. I want to report her. I want to report her office. You want to report to her office? No, I want to report okay. to you about the crimes that her office is committing to me. Okay, what what did they what did they do to you? Well, it's a list of them, so I'm gonna start from um, scratch. On January fourteenth, two thousand and nineteen, two white male officers, one named Funderburg Lee and one named Zane Jones. Uh, stopped me as I was walking down the street, north my uh, close to North Miami the intersection, on the intersection to make the difference between Miami and North Miami. And the police officer it was on Northwest Seventh Avenue. This clown never called me back. Street. I talked to him what December. And what the police officers did was stop me and they and they, they robbed me from my phone and day. my wallet. They got this, they and they got was going through my phone to delete out recordings that, they have a that I had made of um, Agent interactions with the police because I was I was like and in the, the cop watching and I would he know nothing um, about what you record the police told when I would have an altercation with them and they don't know where your files. Like, so the police, uh, these two officers came to attack me as a, by the time like a you form called of them retaliation back, they to get that evidence from me. Agent in the, in the, in the, and the officers I got, yeah, the, the officers I got caught strangling me. They had no probable cause to stop me. They sh started strangling me and was screaming at me, calling me niggers. So what I'm reporting to him Telling is how me I'm going to kill you, nigga. I hate you, nigga. Die, nigga. Die, die, you black hate bitch. I hate you, black me. niggers. And I'm a black man, and they was two white and guys. Kind of so I felt that was a victim of, um, God, I didn't. of a hate crime. No, but these two white cops I was in got cuffs, I wasn't I'm resisting, and the niggas. officers had no probable cause to stop me. Calling me a so they wind up no charging me with a false charge of crime. battery and resisting arrest. Done. Captain Fernandez this was January 14, 2019. I won the charges as a pro se criminal defendant representing myself. I won the charges July 11, 2022. But the more of the so yeah, now that was about that's one crime. Civil rights, justice, and stuff. And the I next crime dirt on top occurred with um, in Miami. the he prosecutor and the and the because judge. Really loved they decides to alter the, the body worn camera crime. footage and delete that info, delete the attack of the white officer strangling me, calling me niggas. They just asked so that, the that's Trump. clearly an obstruction of justice. Did the Memphis Five Memphis cops, the Scorpion Act unit, the verbal that they bomb, committed. he said, absolutely. And um, they altered the footage, deleted they the scenes out the, out, the, out the footage. And he said they deserve a bond. Um, just to spare the white officer. Oh, say no, that was seen as a, a trying to either. kill me. Death penalty right now. That's, that's just one of the incidences. Another incident, the judge named Carmen Cabarga. She's newly elected to the bench. 
she had, she physically assaulted me while she was on the bench. Jumped well, off the bench on one of my pre-trial on. hearings that was like a Game September, three, two. maybe the 8th of 2021. Which, which judge? Her name is Carmen Cabarga. C-A-R-M-A-N, last name Cabarga, C-A-B-A-R-G-A. Real public record request for the CCTV footage in her courtroom. She ran around, off the bench and the ran over to me and started swinging on, punching, like on my trying to fight hand. me in her courtroom. Look at so the, I, filed a, I filed a criminal so police report against her and you got the for assault and battery. Show. And she using her authority to, come trying to, beat me up to hinder that investigation. In the, the police, um, they did the report, but now the prosecutor's office, now, they keep hanging up on me when I call and try to speak to a prosecutor. They will hang up on me. Um, but that's a Chief Tamayo with a witness because I was a would, uh, witness attack in the me when I walked when I walked in the in the prosecutor's so office. I have more than that police prior, report. They would jump on me and physically throw me out and trespass me from the property out, with no justification. I did nothing wrong with. just to prevent me from moving forward with my 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 There's several no different police reports. Can I'm a victim of different crimes. When my first time. <laughs> My first the next issue is I went to Internal out. Affairs for Miami Day to complain on Funder Berkeley. Oh, yeah. and, the, and the Internal Affairs officers had That's jumped on me him. and um, actually physically slammed me out the building. That's how much hatred that they have for me. Just to prevent me from being able to move forward with my IA complaints. So they were just that violent and aggressive with me. I went to Miami Beach Eternal Affairs because a similar incident happened with some Miami Beach officers. So I'm lucky. And the I'm Miami lucky Beach stuff, Eternal man. Affairs officers pulled guns out on me and told me don't put them to my head and, and, and took my book bag, took my that's, property, that's what, threatened to kill like me and told me I better not come to the Eternal Affairs office again. Have a judge beat me All these things court. I got recordings of. Another incident of this just a long list of, she beat me of up. She retaliation by her. the police. I was busting Another her incident, ass. August like 7th, 2000, and um, maybe 20. Busting her ass. Yeah, 2020. Uh, and, they and, they concocted a scheme to have some her. North Miami Beach police officers arrest me for a false charge of trespassing at a 7-Eleven store. The police had told the um, employee to Take help them rob me for finish. my phone because I use my finish. phone to do a lot Everybody of recordings. Everybody in the courtroom who witnessed it, guess what? So the local police told the, the, clerks were the, supposed to record the, it. the clerk to help them rob the me for my phone. The prosecutor was in there. And while court I was uh, shopping in the 7-Eleven, I bought All some food, seen this judge left out the store, and the clerk nothing. came from behind two. me and started swinging on me now, and tried to rob me and take my phone. I don't have to do And I called the, I the, the police for The clerk. His name was Kareem. The clerk tried to rob you. The clerk. Yeah. His name Kareem Daniels. I can go I, I called police. Uh -huh. Yeah, I called police. This was um August 7, With 2022. In civil court. I and called the police. I, okay. I called 911 and, and reported it. being robbed and assaulted by the clerk. Hate to have Dispatch to told me to wait on the scene to the, to what the they you know, cops got there. And I told so this bastard I had a problem ammo with the local the officers because they ammo. was harassing me in the neighborhood. And I felt if them thugs come back that they would attack me. And she told me, don't worry about it. She was going to make sure, you know, everything was okay. But long story short, it was the same cops who set up the robbery came to the call. And they wind up to justify and help their friend out. They charged me with a false charge of trespassing which I never was, I, I beat the case, it was a false charge. I never had a trespassing warning. They made a false police report saying that I was given warning several times by the officers to leave and I refused to leave. And that, and that's why they arrested me for trespassing after warning. They, did not, they refused to put in the report that I had called them about me being um, robbed by this employee. They just, they wrote it up as if they was just on the scene and they seen me in the store yelling and arguing and they lied and said the employee told me several times and the police told me 
repeatedly to leave, and I wouldn't. And it was a big lie. It was all caught on their body cam footage, but they didn't care. They just arrested me on a false charge of trespass, and I had to sit in the county jail eight months for that. From 2000 and uh, from August to maybe March of 2021. So, um, the corruption, the more corruption with that is that the North Miami Eternal Affairs Department, when I called them to make a IA complaint about those local officers put me under false arrest, the North Miami Eternal Affairs is so crooked, he won't even let me make a IA complaint on me. He just told me outright, no, you ain't going to do it. He's not going to allow me to make a complaint you against don't hear what I told him. So that's that's pretty yeah, much, I, and, I, I, and I, I got I, more stories. I got another story no, where North Miami the police I, officer, the the officer police. named Erica Carter, broke into my house at gunpoint the on 122nd refused to even in North Miami. Complaint, cause this they was don't, they September don't the 2nd, 2021. And look it up. Came in my house at gunpoint and drug me out my own house where I was living. And stole all that's my property and had hired her a private, um, a private little crew, a little work crew, to come in my apartment like they was the sheriffs, but they wasn't. And they stole all my property and then boarded up my house. But they was taking a lot of my legal work because I was bringing a lot of civil lawsuits against the police and, and judges and things like that. So as a form of retaliation. Erica Carter came into my own home and burglarized my home and snatched me out at gunpoint, beat me up and everything in broad daylight. Stole my mail out the mailbox, stole my mail off, stole my mailbox from off the wall. And, it, and it's just been a lot of corruption going on. And when, whenever I try, I made police reports, but those go nowhere. Without the prosecutor moving forward with prosecution, the prosecutor's mad. office always he, hang up on me when I call there. They tell me that I'm not allowed to call their office. Me. That the only thug. a police can call them and make a complaint on my behalf because I can't do friends. it. They will hang up. He hate that. And this is right. yeah. So it's just a, and I can keep going with I corruption going. by different officers. And when I was in Miami, he hate the fact I'm in, exposing uh, his team. When I got arrested his, for his funding for um, uh, he charged me with a resisting arrest. And, and they can't stop me because I got the evidence. They charge a battery on him, the white cops, on January 14th. When they took me to bond court the next day on January 15th, about um, 10 correctional officers jumped me in front of um. Renata S. Francis courtroom. She was the judge. Now she the Supreme Court judge. She was just elected, but she was the bomb court judge. And the police had beat me down so in bad they handcuffed me. I was handcuffed. And she was laughing about it, y'all. And I think one of the senior officers, a sergeant, Her career over with. in front of the entire room, walks over to me and just start punching me repeatedly in the face. High Supreme and Court then judge. Team, then his team drug me outside, me, slammed numbers. me on the ground, took Damn. my head with my braids and started slamming me face first into the concrete ground, breaking all my teeth out of my mouth. This is what Miami and Dade County did. They cell and refused court. me medical treatment. I wasn't able to see a doctor till like uh, maybe a day or two later. So I had to eat for like two days with broken teeth in my mouth. So this judge and, um, do not want this to get every out. Every day when so I was sitting in the county jail, all her authority every day to sweep this under the rug. Every day when I was sitting in the county jail, the officers would throw inch and so it's a fight. They would either taser me, inch and powder. Inch and powder, they would either taser me, inch and powder on me all day in the would, county um, jail. throw a chemical that would cause me to ejaculate semen on myself. This was like the little practical little sex games. And then they would put feces and shit in my food every day. When Every day while I was in the county jail, they would feed me shit and feces. And I, and I wrote several dozen um, complaints about it, and I just get retaliated against. But, yeah, this is the 
this is the type of um, conduct that I'm going through in uh, Miami. And also they would threaten to, threaten to kill me and my family. And so far they killed about four family members of mine just out of retaliation towards me. You know who killed your family members? Of course, you did. It was the police and the corrections. They operated as a gang. They used the little gang members in the community to help them. Uh, not too long ago, they sent they sent one of their friends to kill me. And he was also successful. Who are the family members that they killed? Well, I don't want to mention the names right now, but we'll get into that when we start the investigation. investigation. But yeah. they dead. They um, dead. They, they have nowhere. Rules. And um, one of them tried to kill me not too long ago. Stabbed me up about uh, four or five times in Cleveland, Ohio. And um, I, I was able to... Are you leaving? Where are you living right now? In Cleveland? Yeah, I'm back in Cleveland, Ohio. So they... They sent their goons to Cleveland as well to help them. Uh, okay. All right, Mr. Douglas. You know, listen to me very carefully, okay? Only a lot of information today. A lot of this information. Listen to this guy. I have the ability to verify whether it's true or not true. Okay, and I believe that you believe it's true. Okay? But these, these are things that, um, that you believe are true, but aren't necessarily true. Yeah. Did you uh, hear this uh, You got to look at the evidence. And also the next right. crime Did is another that, more serious crime than that. This is how uh, criminal these gangsters are. What could possibly Karma make tell me something like that? Just to prolong my mind. trial with... With Funderburg, Lee, and Zane Jones, when you do the do investigation, you will see the arresting officer Zane boy? Jones. He he went AWOL after he arrested me and beat when me up and choked me and, to the police and say, hey, things like that. But um, while that while that trial was going on, they wanted come? the conviction so bad. Nigga, me and around June the 14th of 2020, so this double Karma Kabarga conspired with uh some misdemeanor county judges and she had them to place on a, do a bench warrant out for my arrest for county court. Now what they did, they, they pretended like I had an open misdemeanor case going on since December 25th of 2019. And they claimed that this case, I, um, I got a lot of paperwork. Well, you will see I was in jail. I understand, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and stop you, Mr. Douglas, because here's the deal. Um, all this information, all right, that needs to, they need to be uh, investigated by the individual agencies. You need to call their internal affairs if you're if you're unhappy. This I is not a purview the for the Florida. I told you the internal affairs pull guns out on you. See, I tried to me off. Yeah. Me as well. No, they didn't. Oh, no, nobody's internal affairs pulled guns on you. I recorded it. Wow. It didn't happen. And you recorded it. Yeah. Okay. Just like I recorded it. If you have that recorded, you should probably um, go ahead and forward that. No way. No way. Okay. No. Crazy. Uh, you, 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 uh, you should forward it probably to the agency in which committed the action. The mm -hmm. FD, the Eternal Affairs Agency. Committed the criminal acts lives. while you know I was going to complain evidence. about other officers that committed you criminal enough acts. Evidence to That's get why it's a real ongoing gang. Yeah. They operating as a, a gang of criminals. And it seemed like you were afraid to even investigate them. That's why you telling me to yeah, I'm not, just deal with them. No, I'm not. Right. No, it's just that there's a protocol. You have to go through them. I went to them. They committed the crime. They committed okay. a crime against me, so obviously they're not going to investigate themselves. And they did attempt to do right. that, but they're not going to do it. So that's why I'm yeah. uh, above their head. And it seems like I'm getting the same treatment, but I'm, I'm hey, at least I got you on record refusing to give me some services. 
Okay. All right. So you got that on record, right? Of course. So what's your first, last name, and last number? Hmm. It, it, it's Steve. I feel it's Geller, G-E-L-L-E-R. Let me write that down. You say S-T-E, how you spell your first name? Steve. S-T-E-V-E? Mm-hmm. And what's your last name? It's Geller, G-E-L-L-E-R. Now, how this devil going to explain? And what's your bass number? One four three six. His department refusing us help. Okay. What's your rank? All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and end this phone call, okay? Because you the, the the amount of uh, information that you're providing and that information is impossibly true. Wow. Okay. What's your rank? It's not true. What's your rank? I'm a special aid. I'm a special agent. That's what okay. Like detective or something. I mean, it seemed like you rushing off yeah. the because you agitated. I you know, Mr. Douglas, you, 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 Mr. Douglas, you've told me about ten different incidents, yeah. all of which, all of which don't relate to one another, and you basically told me that ten different agencies, ten different officers, um, each have pulled guns on you. Yeah, well, I got the. And point. everybody that talks to you tends to pull a gun on you. So I got the police report. So why would it be false if I got police reports stating that? You got the police talking? report. Of course. Okay, Here, here's the deal. I, I'll give you my email address, and if you want, forward me everything you have, okay? But you at the point where you said you refusing to investigate my complaint because you don't like to... Well, I'm going to... You, you said that you have stuff on... You said, you but, said that you have stuff on video, but, and you also say that you have this all this information, and it's documented, so send it to me then. But you the okay. FBI, you the uh, special agent, ain't you gonna do your own investigation? Mm -hmm. You just gonna sit around and wait well, and just, you, you can't call the state no, attorney's office to look at front of Berkeley body worn mm -hmm. camera footage. You can't call no, the Sandy Jones body worn camera footage. Mr. Douglas, I'm giving you some homework to do to get to for me to move forward. You have well, to do these things. No, I ain't no investigator. I'm not I investigating. I can do what I can. I understand, I but, do as much as I can, but, uh, but, but I don't know how to, I don't you know told me, to go you, you, well, you can go to the library, you no, can go to, and they can that. assist you. I don't know how to do all that right now, but that ain't going to stop you from ordering Zane Jones. I'm giving you his name, Zane Jones, body cam of North Miami, okay. Northside Police Station for Miami Day, January 14, 2019. His, his wife, I see you coughing in my face, but I'm going to keep talking. Two white cops stopped me as I was walking down 118th Street, and they grabbed me by my throat, started squeezing my throat, and said, I'm going to kill you, nigga. I hate you, nigga. You die, you black bitch. I hate you, nigga. And I was caught on body mm -hmm. cam footage. So why would you not believe that? Why would you say well, that without you even it's, looking at the footage? Okay, Mr. Douglas. Go ahead and send me that information. I I'll be happy to, to take a look at it. What you want to know, okay. the case number, the arrest number? What is, what is you want? Is no, you I want you to send me the information. You said that you have it on camera, that you have it recorded. Go ahead and send it to me. Oh, I as well as I any of the other information. Listen, listen. I ain't computer savvy home, boy. Um... I told you about felony offenses that public officials committed. So why is you refusing to investigate without even look, without even doing an investigation? Is it because you, because I named some high-ranking white officials and you don't want to see them get in trouble? Yes. So why don't That's you right. ask, don't you have a duty to investigate? Right. So. I have your phone number. Let me just look into this and I'll give you a call back, okay? Do you have a supervisor? Because I feel like you're trying to blow smoke up my butt. So I may want to... What's your phone? What's your phone number, Mr. Douglas? My phone number is 216 415 And you got a supervisor? Yeah, I'll look into this and then we'll give you a call back, okay? No, I said, do you got a supervisor? Thank you, Mr. Douglas. Have a good day. I want to speak to your supervisor. Y'all seen this go FDL through? And FDLE, just another group of little racist ass. I ain't about to be bullied by no pig. Y'all see what a nigga you go through? You clearly hear his little friends in the background. Mm -hmm. 
That's him. Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Yeah, how you doing? Is this the Florida Department of Law Enforcement? Yes. All right. Um, you know what today's date is? The 19th. Uh, December? Yeah. All right, yeah. Who is the supervisor in charge there? Because I need to speak to the supervisor because I want to move forward and get a, some investigation. I need to get an investigation going on against some corrupt officials for, you know, attacking okay. me, trying to kill me. Give me one me. second. Important cyber security bulletin. Uh, yeah, who am I speaking with? Damn, y'all, he hung up, man. This is the Florida Department of Law Enforcement? Yes. All right. Um, you know what today's date is? The 19th. Uh, December? Yes. I had to rewind right. that back. Who is the supervisor in charge there? Because I need to speak to the supervisor because I want to move forward and get a, some investigation. I need to get an investigation going on against some corrupt officials for, you know, attacking okay. me, trying to kill me. Give me one me. second. The important cybersecurity bulletin. We appreciate your call. A member will be available to assist you in a moment. Uh, yeah, who am I speaking with? Monsters. Uh, Monsters in office. Hung up. This the FDLE. Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Straight clowns. Devils. Let's try this one more time. They hiding from me. Y'all need to support me. Put y'all support behind me. I got your back against the wall. Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Yeah, can you transfer me to a supervisor so I can make a complaint? I need to open up a criminal investigation. Okay. I'm Adrian Lucas, Senior Management Analyst. FGLE. Uh, yeah. Can I speak to somebody about uh, making this complaint? This is Agent Geller. I spoke with you already. I told you that I'll look into it. Yeah, you just hung up on me when I called you back. Why was that? Because... Because I told you, well, how am I supposed to look into it if you keep calling me? Well, why did you hang up on me? I called you one time. All right, but, all right. I asked you a question. I ain't trying to argue with you. It was rude for you to hang up. All right. Can, I, can you apologize it, about that? No, Mr. Mr. Douglas. Mr. Douglas, I'm, I have a lot of work going on here, and you're holding me up. I'm not holding you up. I just asked why did you hang up. First of all, you were supposed because, to be Because we're done. Uh, Mr. Douglas, we're done. Well, I gave you an opportunity, and when you wouldn't accept it, then that was the end of that. What you mean, I wouldn't accept okay. giving me your email? You want to go without I tried. I told you to give me your and you said, I don't have time for that. I don't do that kind of stuff. That's how it, if you wanted to send it to me, you can either send it via mail, or you can send it via email. Well, I told you I don't know how to email the video footage, but I do have them in my mm -hmm. phone, but you were still supposed to give me your email. You hung up being very rude and disrespectful because you don't want to launch an investigation right. into your own friends because they are right. friends and family members. So what's your email? Yeah. I need to know the name of your supervisor. Okay. What's your My first name is Steve. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you. you. What's your, what's your you email? email? What's your email? Do I got to keep saying it 15 times for you give it to me? All right, we're done. Have a good day. Can I get your email? See that? Hung up. But yet they accuse us black people of being RICO conspirators. But they doing the same thing. They they actually doing it. Yeah, can I speak to a supervisor? Uh, I've sending... answered you twice. Have you been able to speak to him? You keep sending me to the same person that's hanging up every time I call, so I need to speak to him. Okay, well, that's the person that you need to speak to. That's a duty agent from Miami-Dade. 
I don't know why he keeps on hanging up on you. Who was his supervisor? Did you make a, did you go to internal affairs department of the, of the police department that you're trying to complain about? Oh uh, yeah, they pulled guns out on me, told me they'd kill me. Um, and, uh, that's why I'm going to FBLE because the internal affairs. Okay, I'm going to transfer you to his supervisor then. Give me one second. Yeah. Uh, yes, law enforcement throughout Florida, solve violent crime and white collar crime. Call back. Make sure the voice <laughs> Part of the Department of Law Enforcement. Yeah, could you transfer me to the supervisor? I went to a voicemail. I already transferred you. He didn't answer. Uh, he went to a voicemail, but I don't know if I have... Okay, if it goes to voicemail, that means that either he's busy at the moment or he's not there. So if you want, I could transfer you again. You need to listen. Yeah, transfer me again. I didn't know if I left the voice. The Department of Law Enforcement. FDLE works with local, state, and federal criminal justice agencies to get. You may now leave a message for another mailbox, transfer out, or disconnect from expressions. To leave a message for another mailbox, push pound. To transfer out of expressions, push zero. To disconnect, push six. Thank you for calling. I left a little message on a voicemail. Right, I just left a second message on this phone. And also, it's amazing. It's amazing. See all these devils, man. Y'all got so much trust in the judicial system, especially a lot of black people like uh, Ben Chump. Uh, who else y'all look, look up to? Judge Joe Brown. They'll tell you that the judicial system work, right? Oh, the judicial system work. We just gotta, we just gotta quit being punks, thugs, and we gotta get in there and utilize the system, which y'all see in reality. When them CNN and them ABC cameras ain't around, how these agents really are? They not here to fight crime. They here to fight niggas. That's it. They here to fight niggas. And put us in jail. They break the same law. I'm calling them. Reporting crime. You heard them. Hang up. You heard them tell me. There's no way all this happens to you. He ain't supposed to be talking to me like that. He ain't even look at the... That's because they did actually look. And they know it actually did happen. But on record, he's pretending like he never heard of this before. So how could they then turn around and tell me I'm, I'm lying without him even lifting a finger up to see? Oh, and that was this happened. This call happened December nineteenth. Right now, it's like what February fourth. They never contacted me back. I called them over a dozen times. Same thing with different agents. So y'all got to watch these devils, man. And make sure y'all hit me with that cash app to my name, D-A-C-I-A number 60. -O, so I can invest in a bulletproof vest because it's, it's time to go to war, man. You know, we got we to gotta get ourselves prepared. I need to get a lawyer, somebody like Jennifer Bond Jean. Our Kelly lawyer, Bill Cosby lawyer, it's a wrap. She would have a field day with these people. If she was to find out the dirt they doing to me. Oh, look, it's way worse than it. Even though the brother R. Kelly in jail, they, they sabotage him. They sabotage his career. They sabotage that trial. But I still think what they did to me is a lot more criminal. And it just will just put a lot of them in straight prison. Judge going to prison. Prosecutors going to prison. Kirk of Court's putting fake documents on the record to help the judge and prosecutor out. That's why the head clerk in Miami Day died on December 31st. Because of me putting paperwork on them. Tying them up. You know when you when you become a liability, the mob get rid of you. And he was a liability because of the dirt that they was doing. I was catching it up on them. I'm putting work on them. 
king died old age. They yeah. killed that man because he became a liability. He would have to testify against them for all the criminal activities in the Kirks that they did on my records. So they have put it on him, not killing, and they ain't got to take the blame for it. They put it on him, he's dead. So the head clerk of Miami Dade was killed due to them attacking me. The mob took him out just like the mob killed the president in Haiti, the same people. That's why them people who killed the president in Haiti being prosecuted in Miami because the, the contract and the hit was put out in Miami against the president in Haiti. Y'all got to wake up, man. These people are for real. This war is for real.